Screw It on Supple Wine. I'm your host, Mike Supple. Today we are into day 35 of this home winemaking experiment. It's a pretty short process. All we're doing today is racking the wine. What that means is we're taking our wine out of this jug. We're going to siphon it into another larger bucket. Siphon it carefully, leaving some in the bottom just to separate the wine from any small sediment. And then we're going to put it back in here and let it continue to age. So racking, just removing it from the sediment. Fairly simple process. So let's take the top off, get our siphon ready. And make sure the other end of your hose is in the bucket. Don't want to end up with wine pouring everywhere. So the way this siphon is set up, it actually sits just about a half inch off the bottom of the container. That way I can pull all the wine out of the carboy into here and leave just a little bit of wine and sediment in there. That way we get nice clear wine without a bunch of junk in it. I want to see how the wine's coming along, so I'm going to grab a quick taste here while it's siphoning. It smells like wine. It's got some nice bright cherry smells. Nothing particularly exciting. A little cherry, a little strawberry. Still smells really young, so it smells a little bit like yeast. Hmm. That tastes significantly better than last time. It actually has pretty good body now. Got good acid, little bits of tannin. It tastes a little bit of that oak, that oak chips in there, just little bits of vanilla and cedar. Some dark cherry. It actually has a pretty nice body. This might actually be turning into wine. I'm pretty shocked because last time I tasted it, it was really underwhelming. So I'm kind of excited now to see what happens over the next couple of weeks. So let it sit, let it sit again, then bottle it, let it sit again, and see how it evolves because this really is coming along. I might be pleasantly surprised in about a month and a half. So you can see some nice sediment and sludge in the bottom, and actually the wine that's left in there might be able to see a little swirling. There's still a lot of just sediment, fine sediment swirling in that bottom there. So that's why we left some wine in the jug, because it still has all that mess that we don't want in our finished wine. So now I'm going to rinse this jug out, put the wine back in it, and let it age for a couple more weeks. So we're putting the wine back in our clean carboy now. Give it some more time to settle. Okay, now that we've got the wine back in there, I topped it up with my distilled water again just to replace the uh, wine we got rid of. Make sure it's up into the neck so there's minimal air contact with the wine. Go ahead and put the air lock back on and let it sit and settle for another couple of weeks. 